Hi guys, this is Uma from React to the K, and welcome to my Minceo is Who reaction. A ton of you have been tweeting me, oh my god, you're gonna love this, it's rich, and the, the, the style, you're gonna love it, you're gonna love it. And so, because there was so much hype, I took a tiny, tiny, tiny sneak peek, and from what I could hear, it reminded me a lot of IU's Modern Times song. Um, it has a similar... So kind of like bluesy, jazzy, deliciousness that I love. So if you're not familiar with Modern Times, this is what it sounds like. Okay, enough of that. Let's jump right into the song. Okay, three, two, one. The Diary of Youth. This is her debut song, right? Because The Grand Dreams was a pre-debut song? Correct me if I'm wrong. I hear you. Oh, that's some more fiddle-esque than violin. Yeah, we've got the guitar on the offbeats. One and two and three and four. Yeah, fiddle. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. And then we've got this, or in the intro, it was kind of like a tuba-esque synth playing the chord progression. But I love that they took it out when her voice came in. Harmonies! Oh! Oh, that's cool! The piano and fiddle are taking turns with riffs. It was like piano, then fiddle, then her voice, then piano, fiddle. And I'm loving the music video. Like, aesthetics and vibes that we haven't seen at all in K-pop before, or rarely. Oh yeah, instrumental solo, dance break. Oh my god, I'm living. This is amazing. Oh, now they're pizzicato on the violin fiddle thing. Yeah. <laughs> Fiddle was doing pizzicato earlier on. And this whole time, it feels very minimalistic. It just sounds so real since it's mostly acoustic instruments, minus, you know, the bass synth. It's just, song and music video is full of aesthetics and vibes that are you ask but totally different too. It's a little more wacky, a little bit more out. Scatting? You know, it starts with, you know, different melodic material and then a scatting section leading up to... Is this the chorus? Yeah? I think. Literally, I guess. I 
one can save you unless you work for the silly and childish girl low tone. So, uh, was she typing the lyrics? The end. That's the title of this album, I guess? Or concept? Wow! Um, well, as you can tell from my reaction, that's definitely going on the to react list for the Classical Musician series. I'll compare it to The Grand Dreams for season three, and I'll try to put it up as early in the schedule as possible because, you know, my goal next year is to show my musician friends K-pop songs with vibes or, you know, melodic material or just something that we've never heard before. And this, like I said, is like, similar to IU in the jazziness, but she totally took it in a different direction and added her own style to it. And obviously her voice is fantastic and that scatting was amazing. And I love, like I said earlier, the trading off between the violin and the piano where they took turns doing like little riffs as transition from phrase to phrase. And everything was so tasteful, not only instrumentally, but how some of the instruments would copy Minseo's vocal line, like she would be singing a melody and it would be doing the same, or sometimes everything would just go out to leave space for her vocal line, and sometimes, you know, she would sing something and then like the instruments would answer that melody. It was just everything was so tasteful, so unique, and really different from everything else that's being released now, so I very, very much appreciate that. And I would do a second listen, but I just got back from KCON New York and I have about <laughs> 15 songs to react to today, so I'm just gonna try and, you know, get things out as soon as possible, but I believe this Classical Missions React series will cover anything in the reaction that I missed. So thanks for watching and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. See you later.